what we are seeing right now is a massive shift and that shift is at the u.s southern border but because of this shift and because of the crisis that is unfolding and has been many states are now upset with texas texas before was upset with the federal government now because of what texas is doing and the success seen in texas and at the u.s southern border in texas other states are upset and want texas to cut it out i'm going to break down what's going on at this moment i'll explain that in just a minute but the one thing that i ask again only it's one thing takes two seconds go ahead hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates and now let's begin so the good news is that texas has seen the illegal migrant crossings the amount of people trying to cross into texas this has dropped dramatically that's good news but here's the problem the migrant crossings are falling sharply along the texas border but they're shifting to arizona and california so guess which states are upset that texas is seeing success california and arizona and here's the reason why now more people are coming into california and arizona so guess what now they are seeing their food pantries are pretty much low on inventory. Their shelters are overflowing. People are living in the streets. Tents are popping up in parks. They're popping up behind buildings, popping up in alleyways. Tents are everywhere because people are now trying to find a place to sleep, just to live. Here's the issue. When people were going into Texas, the Texas governor, Greg Abbott, was taking those people, putting them on a bus or a plane, sending them to Chicago, sending them to New York, even over to Denver. Well, Arizona and California are not doing that. People are migrating at the southern part of those states. Well, it's turning into an issue. And guess what? There's no governors that are telling the, the governor of California or Arizona that, hey, we'll help you out. We'll send our National Guard. No, it's not happen happening that way. But the Georgia Republican governor, Brian Kemp, he's setting the stage say Texas' governor, uh, governor's border standoff with Biden. He's going to help. We, we already learned that Senator or uh, Governor Ron DeSantis from Florida, they were sending National Guard troops to Texas. Uh, was it Indiana was doing it just the other day. Multiple states, I believe there's 25 states that are backing Texas. And so this is where the United States is simply divided. Now, I want to show you this, okay? In just a minute, I'm going to read you this. It says, three reasons why so many migrants want to cross from Mexico to the United States. And it's just talked about immigration into the U.S., what we have that other countries don't have, what we are offering. But before I do that, I want to go over this map really quick, okay? It's the map of the United States, pretty self-explanatory. Here's the issue. Down here, okay, down here is where Eagle Pass, Texas is. This is where all the discussions, all the fight, this is where everything's happening right here. Well, guess what? This, being that this is getting all the attention right here in Texas, what's happening is we're actually seeing more and more uh, illegal entries into other parts, okay? And so again, this is part of the issue. We're seeing a lot coming in uh, this part of Texas up here, all right? But Here's the other problem. And again, El Paso is right here. Ciudad Juarez, one of the most uh, dangerous places in Mexico. I've actually been there. Um, and you seriously hear gunshots at night. Uh, it's, it's a crazy little city, but it's right there. El Paso is right on the, 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 the US side. But again, they're, they're right there side by side. This is where we're starting to see more and more people coming across is up here, okay? But it's actually over here in the California side and the, the Arizona side where more people are coming in, okay? And the reason why we're seeing it here, again, is simple. There's more attention, there's more uh, you know, deterrence in Texas. But again, this is where California and Arizona are saying, well, you gotta start going over to Texas, okay? Where there's too many people coming into the United States through the, the borders of California and Arizona. It's just too much. They're, they're telling people, to go to Texas, go back that way. They'll still let you in. There's just these 
big cargo boxes and, and razor wire, but it's an easier trek. Go to Texas, it will just be much better. Because then Texas, they will send you to New York or they'll send you to Chicago or they'll send you to Denver. You come to California, you come to Arizona, well, guess what? We're not gonna send you know, busloads of people all across the United States. So you're stuck here. Well, guess what's happening in California? As of January 1st, low income uh, illegal immigrants can get health care. So why would people want to go to Texas when you're not getting free stuff in Texas? All the stuff is in California. You got better weather in California. Well, normally you got potentially free health care, free shelter, free food. You got all this stuff and you got a governor that again is pro immigrant. So that's kind of what we're seeing at this time. But I bring this up because there's another thing that's happening at the same moment. As all these people are crossing into the United States, the Biden administration is considering taking executive action because if they do not take executive action, many of these Democratic governors have already said they are going to pretty much push back against the Biden administration because they need additional funding. They need more resources to build additional shelters and more affordable housing, provide additional food and, and have more food banks that are readily accessible, easily accessible as well. Because sometimes there's you know, 10, 20 miles in between a food bank, maybe even more. And it's very difficult if somebody's living in a tent has to travel 10 or 20 miles to get to a food bank. It's just not possible. So having more food banks, having additional food as well, because right now, and I don't know about every single state, uh, but we've seen a lot of different reports where food banks uh, in some of these border states, they're actually being depleted. And we are seeing their stockpile so low, but they're having to ration the food that they get in order to provide for more families. They're not providing more food, they're providing food to more families. So it's less options, less food per family, but they can provide for more. So that's kind of what we're seeing at this time. But the interesting thing is states are now outraged because Texas is actually having success at their border. But because of their success, it's hurting other states. And now states like California and Arizona are pushing back saying, you need to cut this out. You need to get rid of this. And they're asking the Biden administration, Tell them to pull down those those walls, pull down those cargo boxes, pull down that razor wire, let people cross where they want to cross. Because now, Texas, Arizona and California, they're feeling the effects and they don't like it. So it's an interesting uh, change of events now that California and Arizona are seeing more of the influx of illegal immigrants because when it was happening in Texas, you didn't hear anything about it. But now... They're feeling the, the impact and they don't like it. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is if California's governor, um, Gavin Newsom, is really pushing against President Biden, this could, this could be something. This could actually be something because the one person that uh, many lawmakers feel could replace President Biden as the next president, if it's a Democrat, is Governor Gra Gavin Newsom. So. We'll see what happens there. All I can tell you right now is I will be here every step of the way. I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates, but that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.